morning. Welcome to a quick waffle Wednesday. A um, bit of an update for you really. Um, apologies if you're expecting a, a video recently. I, um, I did do the little photo montage of the Puma. I have got some Allegro footage on the camera. Just haven't had time to edit it with going away at Easter and stuff like that. But this video is really an update about the Puma, which unfortunately has fallen through. Um, yeah, I had a message from my mate Phil who was selling the car, who I know from the Allegro Club. Uh, he'd done all the welding and all the work on it. And uh, the reason why it was so cheap, if you like, other than being a bit scruffy, was because he'd done all the welding himself. He didn't really owe him anything because he bought it as part of a job lot when he bought another Allegro. But that's by the by. It, it had got to the point where the figure that we both agreed I was going to pay, he was just about breaking even. However, working on the last few jobs on it, um, he knew it had got a little leak from the power steering somewhere on investigating it he found that the power steering pipe had got a hole in it and the more he looked into it the bigger the hole came and the more leaks there were um, and apparently to get the pipe off he needed to get it up in the air on some ramps which he hasn't got which would have meant hiring some ramps at a garage incurring labor charges he then looked into the price of a pipe from Ford and they were 250 quid but even if he'd have had one made at like you know some Pertec or something the price would have gone over and he would have then started owing him money he offered it me as it sat so with no MOT and a leaking pipe for a figure less than we'd agreed and I just said unfortunately I can't afford to take a project on. I I need a running and driving car as it was going to replace this. So he's all right with that. He knew he knew what I needed. He was just making me an offer. So basically, I've had to decline on that. So he's put that on marketplace, and I think it's already gone um, to a guy who's happy to take it on. So I'm now still in the Seat. Um, Dave who was going to buy it off the channel knows that um, this has happened I'm still actively looking for a replacement and I've got a couple of ideas that are in the are in the pipeline at the minute but time isn't on my side with having days to get it sorted I mean the thing is with this, it's taxed, it's insured, it's MOT'd, it's running, driving, rushing around to try and find a replacement when I don't necessarily need to, isn't high on the priority list, unless I can drop on something. So I am actively looking and fingers crossed it will, it will all work because although this car is fun and I like it, um, I'd sort of set my mind on I was swapping it now and I'm I'm sort of terrible like that. Once I get an idea in my head, I sort of think, oh, I really need to do that now. And also I'd like something a bit more sort of my style of car really. Although I was quite looking forward to having the Puma because I'd never had one and always wanted to go in one and, and whatever. It's not really what I sort of want on the channel. I sort of do like the old, you know, Austins and Rovers and stuff like that, like the Maestro and like, you know, like the Land Rover, like the Allegro. So, uh, yeah, I just dropped on this because I happened to sell the Land Rover. This came at the right time, but it's not really what, what I fancy on the channel. The same as the Puma isn't really what I fancy. So, although I was a bit annoyed, stroke gutted, it's not the end of the world. I'd rather get something a bit more appropriate. So, as I say, there's a few things I'm looking into. And, 
I will keep you posted. Um, next free weekend, I've got to try and investigate. I've got a noise on the back of the Allegro, which I think it might be the exhaust knocking, actually. Check the suspension as um, I thought it was that, and it's, it's not that, but it might be the exhaust, because apparently there's only one hanger on the back of the exhaust on these. Um, it started knocking when there was three of us in the car, so it could be that. Um, but other than that, everything's pretty good. Just let me get on here. Yeah, that's one thing I do like about this car. No missing about. So yeah, that's it really, unfortunately. Bad news on the Puma front. Good news on the uh, fact that I haven't actually lost this at the minute. And uh, that's it. Anyway, don't like really rabbiting when I'm on the uh, the big roads. So I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra a bit.